Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, cats and kittens. Welcome back to part 25 of the Let's Play the Bus Simulator 21. <clears throat> oh, there is a traffic jammy building up here, so let's go to the other side of the road pretty quick. So we still have the bus here. And um, I decided to not play Seaside Valley. I have instead decided to stay to the core of this game, and that is actually Angel Shores. Seaside Valley is Bus Simulator 18. I have had a look at Bus Simulator 21's Seaside Valley, and it's honestly not much different. So this map here is the true core of Bus Simulator 21. That is why I invested more time and optimized the route network of Bus Simulator 21. Wow, this is uh, crazy. And as you can see now, we are basically Timber Ridge here. You can already, you could already see it by the way the road is going. And this is bus number one. Now, why is this now number one? Well, I have revised the entire network once again and reduced the amount of lines even further. So we have only 10 basic lines now and an extra line to Gold Island which is very short it just like loops into Greenwood and goes back to Gold Island so it doesn't go from the main station to Gold Island anymore it goes from Greenwood to Gold Island and now bus number one has disappeared and we have number one on the other side now that's one of the beach bendy buses. So let's have a look at the entire network now. Line number one is by far the biggest line. And I think it's the biggest line I've ever created. This line <laughs> has a route duration of 1 hour 48 minutes and 6 seconds. However, it is a ping pong line, so one Erection is about 54 minutes. It's still huge though. I mean look at the demand 32. It's balanced as well 32 and peak 7 and Interval is 1048 peak interval is 9 minutes Satisfaction 4 stars everything is about 4 stars now because I haven't Redriven everything but look at the income just of this line alone is 582,000 if I can uh, raise the star level to four and a half or higher it could probably go into the 700 Ks or at least 650 ish so where does the line number one go it starts back up here at San Pablo and Andrade then it goes over Esmondave, Highlander Park South Amador Arlington and Amador then it goes directly to Coyote Bush North, Chuck's Roadside Service, Sunshine Retreat, Kindling Walk, Greenwood Fields, Apple Farms Walk, all the way here over Timber Ridge, Grady Stop, Puppies Rest, West Forest Road Observatory, Hillside Stop. Then it makes a small loop over Eclipse Bay, South Garden Grove, and Cliff View. Then it covers both Sea View Stop, Sea View Beach, and Sea View Point. And then it goes all the way, loops all around the bay here. Parker. Well, no, Parker. <laughs> Baker Park. But I think it's called Arnold Park anyway. South and, uh, south and North Entrance, Golden Shore, Golden Bridge. Business Center North. And that's where it goes into Pecunia, Jefferson Street, Darcy Avenue. King Street, South Jones Street, North Go Street, North Folsom, Valley Spring High School, and Valley Spring Church, and that's where it loops around and goes back all the way to San Pablo. This is the biggest line I've ever created, and yes, I will drive it, um, but without commentary and with music later in this playthrough. Alright then, 
line number two. That's the Pecunia line. And uh, that one is just a shorty, basically. Even though it does have 22 stops, but as you can see, it's pretty dense. So it starts at the main station, then it goes through a little bit of Chinatown, but like, no, it doesn't go through Chinatown, it just goes through the south Chinatown, is this area here. So yeah, it takes this small loop for um, a maximum coverage, then it goes onto the highway bridge, down over the business center, and then just takes this loop, a little loop through Pecunia, through all the main stations here. This is center, of course, and then it goes down Powder Street, North Folsom, Pine, Valley Spring High School, South Folsom, King, Clay, South Stockton, North Stockton, and goes back over West 3rd and uh, East 3rd, and the Highlander Park Church, back to the main station. Line number three is the Harbor Line. That one is uh, not too long either. So it starts... in Greenwood, here at the first street. Then it goes over to Tilton Avenue, Emergency Headquarters, Fifth Avenue, over Bay Tree, South Gavilan Way, Bay Tree Church, Millbrook Square, South, East and North, and then Corino Avenue, then it goes down to Blandy Street, through all these stations of the Auris Harbor, over Inna Street, back to Northgate Avenue, Mayfair Ave, Glendrose Avenue, Technical University, Park Plaza Drive, and Millbrook Square West at the way back, and then it goes back down. It doesn't stop again, of course, at Millbrook Square South. That would be unnecessary. So technically, you could also go down this street and then go back. Or even... I uh, know this is one way, but you could probably go down here. And then it goes over the bo to Amplets. And then Humboldt, Copperpot Church, Elm Street. Greenwood High School East, Old Police Station, and back to 1st Street. Number 4 is the Sunkiss Line. As you can see, the Harbor Line, oh well, it's 50 minutes. So, um, yeah, and this is a loop line. While number 2 is also a loop line. Number 4 is the Sunkiss Line. This is also a loop. It starts at the business centers or no actually it starts at powder but then it goes to the business centers from south over north to the middle business center then it goes back to north stockton washington street north jones street east Toraval street uloa street second avenue Gellert Drive, South Gellert Drive, Eucalyptus Drive, and it goes down over Crimson Point to Glenwood Avenue and Cliffview at uh, Eclipse Bay. By the way, here is one of the Sam statues, right here, at this uh, edge here. Then it goes over Seaview Beach, back into Sunkiss, Sloat Boulevard, Silver Park South. From Silver Park South, it goes back into Valley Spring High School, Valley Spring Church, North Gow Street, and from North Gow Street it goes back to Powder Street. So the loop is closed there. Number five is one of the shorter lines, the Pier Line. I just wonder which buses are actually used on that line. Yeah, there are no bendy buses on this one because it's going over the pier. E-Bus 5 
I'm not even sure, but I think that one is actually... Must be a short one, because otherwise it wouldn't say E-Bus. Yeah, th this is one of the... One of the BYD 12 meters. Yeah, there are, there are only 12 meter buses on this one because of the of the pier line. So, yeah, 12 meters are the the longest that should go in there. No bendies, no long woods, just the normal ones. So, it starts here. This is a kind of small loop actually. Starts at West Taraval, East Taraval, Point Lobos. This is the only line that goes over Point Lobos. Baker Park North or <laughs> Arnold Park North, the pier itself. Then it goes down to Sea View Point, Sloat Boulevard. Then it goes first to South Garden Grove, loops back over Glenwood, then stops at Crimson on the way back because the other line stops at Crimson on the way there. Then goes to Silver Park South, takes this small loop here, then to Silver Park East, Silver Park West doesn't stop here again because it's a loop line it doesn't stop here either so it stops only here at um, Arnold Park South entrance and then immediately closes the loop again into West Taraval. Number 6 is the second biggest line of the network it's called Greenwood because it covers most of the Greenwood stops it starts at the 2nd Street then goes to Fremont Street or Fremont, I think it's called Fremont. Then Greenwood High School North, 6th Street, Indian Avenue, which actually still belongs to Greenwood. Then Humboldt, South Mall East, North Madison, Millbrook Square West, Park Plaza, Technical University, Mayfair Ave. Then it goes to Silver Park South. Sloat Boulevard, Seaview Point, Vicente, Rivera, 2nd Avenue, North Jones, Washington, North Stockton, then over the business center, first south, then center, and then north. Back over Powder, goes down to North Folsom, Pine, Valley Spring Church, Valley Spring High School, Blandy Street, Corino Avenue, Glenrose Avenue. Then it doesn't stop here again because it's a loop line. Millbrook Square East, then on the way back through the Amplets. Fifth Avenue, Emergency Headquarters. It doesn't stop here again at the Greenwood High School North because it stopped here before. Actually, because these two stops are so close together it would probably make sense for this stop to be on the way back. So I just decided to change that. Because these two stops are way too close together. Uh, 37 actually. So yeah, emergency headquarters. So it stops here at north because the other one stops at Fremont. So it doesn't make any sense. For that, then Greenwood High School East, Old Police Station, and First Street, and then back to Second Street. So I have to apply these changes because that is changing the, the length of the trip. It's actually lowered by a few seconds. It's now 1 hour 5 minutes and 16 seconds. So the frequency has been reduced a tiny bit too. This is a loop line, so this is probably the longest line so far. However, as you can see, here it's kind of copying itself so the only area that is kind of uncovered is this one this this loop here and as soon as you're back at the Nolly and Bay Tree and Greenwood it's kind of copying itself it's like almost it's nearly a ping pong line it's just a mirrored line here then we have line number seven this is one of the slow uh, one of the faster ones is the um, shorter ones the quarry line so it starts at the quarry in the uh, coyote bush then it goes over sunshine retreat fisherman point first street greenwood fields elm street copperpot church 
6th Street Emergency Headquarters. And that's it. Emergency Headquarters loops around and goes back to 6th Street and this is a ping pong line therefore the entire journey takes uh, 28, almost 29 minutes but one way is actually just about 14 and a half. So this is one of the very short ones. Then Chinatown itself is a loop and it's exactly the same duration as the other one, 2849. But this is a loop, so this actually takes 2849. Starts at the main station. Then it doesn't stop here. It goes directly to East 3rd Street. Then goes down to Chinatown South. St. Anthony Church, Regatta and Chetty, Cedar Square loops around, South Regatta, Chetty Drive, City Hall North, Chinatown West, Main Avenue, 4th and Nimitz, and Highlander Park Church. Then it goes up to Clinton Ave, and then it goes a little bit over to the side of Lakeview, Arlington and Amador, Santa Clara, Lakeview Side Center. Yosemite Street and back into the main station. Then we have the two marina loops. They are fairly easy. They are, they are almost the same length. Actually pretty short. So the first marina loop is actually pretty easy. Starts at the West 3rd, Florida. West Oakwood High Street, then it goes over West Oakwood Bay, Lincoln Street, Nimitz and 3rd, Nimitz and Sea Drift. Then, because I would have preferred to, to loop this the other way, but the AI will take a, uh, a weird way here, so I decided to loop it the same way. So, Lake Anza, Arlington Lake Anza, Lakeside View Center, San Luis Road, down to South Regatta. Regatta and Chetty and Marina and back into the best third. The other side is basically starting at Regatta and Chetty. This one is a little bit easier than the other. South Regatta, Lake Anza, Arlington Lake Anza, Lakeside View Center, San Luis, Nimitz and Sea Drift, Nimitz and Third. Lincoln Street, West Oakwood Bay, High Street, Florida Avenue, West 3rd, and Marina. As you can see, this one is a little bit easier. It's also half a minute shorter because of the loop is kind of natural flowing while the other one has to counter loop. So this part here, this 30 seconds, these 30 seconds here are double on the other one. And then the last one is the E, which is the extra line. The tourist line, and that one is the shortest of them all. It's a loop line, it's only 19 and a half minutes long. This is basically just to cover all the uh, stops of Gold Island, and since they are all purple, I couldn't. I originally wanted to um, make this line one longer and uh, like loop it around here and go back, but um, there are just too many purple stations, so I decided to make it this way. So this one starts at West Cove, Old Silo Island Inn, Gold Tourist Center, North Harbor Way. Goes down to Greenwood and I decide, I try to make it as, as fast as I can or as short as I can. So 5th Avenue, Indian Avenue, South Mall West, South Mall East, Humboldt Street and back onto West Cove. So these are the 11, basically 10 main lines. So the heart of these two is definitely number 6 and number 1. Those are the longest, even though lum number 1 only takes 40, 54 minutes for one way, while the Greenwood line takes 1 hour 5 minutes since it's a loop line. So in the next videos, I am going to drive every single line of these. And uh, the longer ones I will cut into two parts. I would like that no video is going to be longer than 
let's say 25 minutes so for example this one here is going to be cut into four parts this one probably well maybe this one three if I'm fast enough this one takes two parts and uh, the harbor line will also take two parts the other one like 34 37 if I'm kind of fast these here are all short they will easily fit into one part the pier line will fit the Sunkiss line will fit, and probably uh, the Pecunia line will fit, and yeah, probably Sunkiss as well. Like, if I don't wait for too long, this will be done in under 30 minutes. Yeah, the video should be under 30 minutes. So, this one here, I will just cut into two parts of like 25 minutes, or 20, probably. And yeah, this one here will probably be like a little, like three parts of roughly 30 minutes. Uh, obviously this will not take for uh, 148 for me this will take like 130 for me but I will cut this into several parts so I will get off at some station and then get into another bus and uh, keep going that's what I'm doing with the lines that have more than one um, interchange in the, in the video parts and the, sh the ones that are short enough I will just take one one video in the, with one bus so this is how the next parts are going to look like. So as you can see, this is 11. So three videos, uh, three, uh, 14. So, we'll so it will be 15 then. So this is part 25. So I guess part 40 is going to be the last one. So I'm going to explain to you how these will work. So from part 26 to part 40, I will just drive, but I will not comment. I will instead try to find some music that is unlicensed and, uh, and will fit um, for, to the, um, uh, as a background music for the bus line. Thanks for watching. Until next time, when the first line starts, and that's actually the main line, so that is going to be uh, an interesting one. So the next three videos, 26, 27 and 28, will cover the main line, number one. Goodbye, Tschüssikowski.